So yeah, we went to uh, Uni Burger. When? Uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yeah, was it yeah. good? <laughs> I, I, to me, the thing that was most surprising was just the radical change from uh, what La Paris, La Paris to, what to it is now? yes, no, that white tile, which while I recognize is good for the type of burger he's doing and gives a certain sense of style, is just a radical change. It's sort of like if my mom suddenly decided she wanted to be a guy, that sort of first time after seeing the sex change operation. What? If you see somebody who you knew was one way, and then they become oh, another. Way, yeah. It's just okay, oh, you gotcha. go, whoa, it's, that's. Anyways, regardless, mm -hmm. that's beside the point because mm -hmm. the place is no longer La Paris. No, it so is, walking yeah. in there expecting La Paris, you're definitely going to be in for a big surprise. Yes. I look at the place and I see, um, I, I see a place that's looking to be kind of like um, Johnny Rockets and In and Out, closer mm -hmm. to In and Out. I mean, Johnny Rockets has the nostalgia memorabilia, the and but he has that you know he he himself wears the white they have yep. the white uniform etc. So with, it's a little cross between the two. Yeah, with the, with the milkshakes and everything like that. Right, but also the the way the burgers are served here, he's using the same type of trays as they're using his A and W, mm -hmm. which I'm not damning him, but I think it's a very nice tray. It's a you know a little baking sheet with some uh, parchment paper yep. on the bottom. Um, it's nice and clean. It looks good. The burger Burgers are wrapped a la in and out, mm -hmm. so you have that, you know, it's a nice wrapping around the burger so nothing really falls apart. And what I, what I found was interesting also about his burgers was, um, unlike some of the other burgers that we've eaten, which had, you know, a moderate amount of toppings on it, was his burgers held together. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether I should attribute that to um, his architectural skills or the, or the potato bun. I, I would actually attribute it to the, uh, the wrapping. In terms you of when you have the wrapping there, it's a sort of thing where it is physically holding things together. Yeah, but I mean, even if you take that burger out of the wrapper, which I do, mm -hmm. um, it, it holds well together. Mm -hmm. You don't have ingredients sliding around. Not and that. I found, you know, so I, I mean, what do we take on there? I took it with hot peppers, pickles, lettuce, tomato, and raw onion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had, it, I had the it, double uni burger. And did it slide around? No, no, no but, it, but it, it was the sort of thing where I ate two thirds of it in the in the wrapping. Right. And then right. at which point, once that's done, then it's just all right. squ squished, and there's not much more uh, to deal with. I, you know, I have to tell you, one of the things that really stood out on this burger for me, actually, two of the things that stood out, the one being the that nice potato bun. Uh, mm -hmm. You get the the, the chewiness, uh, a little bit doughy, but it's not it's not a heavy bun, and I'd have to say. That the bun actually, in this case, really complemented the burger yes. rather than eclipse the burger. I mean, we, I've had some uh, where the bun was too outstanding, well, too you know prominent, mm -hmm. and you go to eat the burger and you're kind of like you're getting a big mouthful of bread. Yes. Um, the meat on his burger. Mm -hmm. Now that was the second exceptional component that yeah. I found. I found that um, you know he uses a flat top to cook his meat. His meat isn't too fatty, but it isn't too lean. I, there's nothing worse than getting a burger that's mealy and dry. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, he says it's tw uh, he says it's like uh, I think it was seventy eight eighty two. No, no seventy eight twenty two. No, he said if I remember uh, seventy five twenty five. Yeah, which is a which is a good balance. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a greasy burger. But the best thing about it was that meat had flavor. I mean, yeah. it wasn't just a nondescript patty. And he and, you know and he he forms it to order. Yeah, no, if, if he forms it to order and then uses smash burger techniques right. to do it. Which is very, very nice, and as a consequence, comes up with an awesome crust from the Maillard reaction. But it, unlike Smash Burger, mm -hmm. his meat tastes really good. Okay, Smash, I, Smash Burger is a nondescript I've never, never had, never had Smash Burger. Yeah. They, have, they haven't come across the border yet. Yeah, well, it's uh, don't run. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's an interesting concept. It's better than probably the big three, but it's you know I don't get too excited yeah. about it. And they're deep fried pickles. Ugh, that's Smash Burger, mm -hmm. yuck. Anyways, nonetheless, Uniburger um, fries. Like the fact that he does the shoestring fries. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing I found was I had a bit of bitter taste from the oil, which I wasn't too happy about. But aside from that, they weren't greasy. So he's, yes. he, you know, this guy has researched his art. Mm -hmm. I mean, he knows what temperature to cook his fries at yeah. so they're not greasy. He now, knows how to make a burger. Now, as he said, it, as he's told us, it's a sort of thing where he researched various butchers. Yep. And he, so which one, the first one was the old La Paris butcher who yeah. said, please, please, please. And he said, let me see. And then had people come in with various, uh, which uh, mixes yeah. uh, that he then tested, which I think is very good. Although the thing I was surprised at is he wouldn't tell us what the mix was. That's okay. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's the charm of what he's doing. You know what? He's doing it well. I don't need to know where he's buying it or who he's getting it from, mm -hmm. unless, of course, you know, it's like a, a Pat Lafreda, and you know, the marketing of the butcher is something yes. that helps sell your product. But although, uh, although, given uh, his prices, it's the sort of thing where he's not very reasonable. He's, he's not getting Pat Lafreda. 
Yeah, no, no, no. But the prices are, I think, very reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, it's no more or less than any of the other places, yeah. and you're getting a quality burger. It's not a, it's not expensive like the um, the M burger prices, mm -hmm. which is just mostly a lure for yeah. a you know a so so product. Yeah, no, I also find that sort of like Five Guys is a little bit uh, priced priced a little bit too much. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, he's definitely um, he's definitely lower priced than the Five Guys. Mm -hmm. He's not serving the same um, the same type of burger as the Five Guys. It's not as messy. Um, he has a smaller choice of toppings, but I have to say that the burger is um, is well constructed. I mean, when you get a Five Guys burger, yeah. that's a that's a slippery burger. Yes. So I mean, it flat, sl floats around in the bun, but you know, it is it, it, you, when you go there, you know what to expect, and that's what you get, mm -hmm. right? And that's what you go for. Yes. So there's people who like that type of burger. No, well, what I think he really needs is just a street with a little bit more traffic. But no, I, I really. Really have to. I have a lot of respect for him for what he's done. Mm -hmm. I mean, it took a lot of balls to yeah. take the old La Paris exactly. location. Yes, that's what I say. It's, it's yeah. put an, a burger place in there. Yeah. It's that's just uh, sort of freaky. It's everybody goes in with prior expectations. So you know, if he was hoping to gain from the traffic mm -hmm. that was go that was looking for no. La Paris, you know, if somebody walks in there, it's going to go gack. What's yes, this? Yes, that's it that was exactly my reaction. Yeah. The other thing that um, you know, I, you know, this guy's put a lot of heart and soul in this place. Mm -hmm. He has a good product. The milkshake was delicious yeah, the mi too. Yeah, the milkshake was wonderful. Yeah, um, using Bill Bouquet ice cream. Mm -hmm. Now that's something really. I mean, that's that takes. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's an expensive product. Mm -hmm. So I mean, his milkshake isn't cheap, but he's producing a really good milkshake. Yes. No, I, I adored the milkshake. To me, it's the perfect size, yeah. and stuff like that. Perfect thickness. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's. Uh, I mean, yeah. it was, well, I guess you know. Let's leave it alone. Mm -hmm. It was a good product. Second time you're there, what did you order? Um, I had the Uniburger. Mm -hmm. um, the with, double? No, just a single. I, I, I'm really not big on the double okay. burgers. But the uh, double single, that single burger, the meat really stood yes. out. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need to order that double burger. Mm -hmm. I mean, the double burger, if you like, if you're hungry, you want it, go for mm -hmm. it. But um, me, uh, for me, the single burger was fine. Okay. So I had the Uniburger. He has that Uniburger sauce, which mm -hmm. is uh, mayo, a bit of uh, pickle, yeah. uh, pickle relish in there. Um, seems yeah. to be there's some chili and t maybe some ketchup. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the sort of thing where it's a, that's similar to similar in style to a Big Mac, uh, Big Mac special sauce. Slightly spicy, yeah. uh, but it, very slightly. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, no, I, but I, not I, as sweet as the Big Mac sauce. No, but there, there, I, I, I liked it very much. Uh, you as a dipping sauce for the for fries. fries. Yeah, that was really mm -hmm. good. Um, so I had the Uniburger, I had a fry, and I had a, a soft drink. And okay. That was it. Yeah. Anything else to cover? No. Okay. No. And we're done.